Hello and welcome to Chaotic Risk TV. My name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and we got some special guests here. And um, the man who put this all together it, um, is the man um, Tom Collier, a guitarist and lead singer from the band Held Hostage. I got to tell you, Tom, this is a nice surprise because um, I initially thought I was just going to be talking to you and some of your bandmates. And um, as I was sharing it with you before we went on uh, line here, I got a I got a strange email from a mutual friend, David Shankel, and, and he was kind of telling me, oh, I know Annie, and we ran a music school together, and she's going to be on your interview. And I'm like, Hi, I know I have an interview with Tom. Who's Annie? And then he <laughs> kind of told me. And then um, 4 o'clock hits, and I, I, I go online a little early, and then this guy, Bob Cunningham, he, he's the first one online. Oh, Bob, who, who's Bob? And, and then it kind of dawns on me, and Ethan Brosh jumps on. Okay, they're all taking part in this concert. So, okay, I, I get it. Tom put this together. So thank you, Tom. I'll, we'll start off with you, Tom, since you put this together. Tell us about the concert coming up July 9th. Uh, it's going to be Outdoors at Sharky's, Rain or Shine. It's a show for all ages, seven bands. It starts at 4 o'clock. It's just going to be straight music. It's going to be such a great day for us and great food, great fun. I mean, a $20 ticket for seven bands, a party all day long, and it, it's a family day, too. Bring your kids out there, everything. And it's Outdoors, Rain or Shine. It's a covered stage. The pavilion can hold a thousand people underneath there if it's raining, you know? I mean, you cannot beat that. I love that. You know, not not just one or two great bands, but seven bands for 20 bucks. You can't beat that. I mean, wow. Well, and they're coming in from all over the country. Andy's coming from Milwaukee. You know, Ethan's coming from Boston. Blood Feast is coming in from New Jersey and New York City. I mean, so there's – and Bob Cunningham's coming from Oswego, New York. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Bob Cunningham, since um, you're, you're on screen there, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and the band you're from and um, what people can expect uh, when they come Hi. to see you. I'm Bob. Um, well, I'm I, in a band called Crazy Neighbors with a U, because you got to be in there, N-E-I-G-H-B-O-U-R-S. And, uh, well, we're a cover band, kind of like an 80s hair band. Do some ACDC, Motley Crue, Zeppelin play some Alice in Chains, that type of stuff. Um, we're we're, we're going we're gonna to get the crowd rocking for you guys. So, so Bob, who, who are you in the band? Um, are you the singer, the bass player? I play rhythm guitar and backup vocals. Yeah, and so I, I, yeah. I'm guessing, are you guys the opening band? I don't know. Oh, we well, could be. That day. But, you know, uh, what's cool about a cover band like that on, on this type of bill is um yeah it's not original music but people going to the concert that day they're going to know all those bands you listed so what makes it fun it's, it's not really so much a tribute like to one band but to the era and um who doesn't know all those bands you name so um that what that what makes it fun you know the audience is going to really get into your your band the songs and the whole sing along and all that my 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 singer really interacts with the crowd really well so yeah it's a lot of fun and so, Annie, let's uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you and the band you're from. So, it's Annie B. Solo. I have played in many different bands all my life. Um, but this um, particular show, I'm, I'm Annie B. Solo Act. And I'm probably just going to be doing solo stuff from now on because I have been playing in different bands for so many years, it's time for just little old Annie B to do her thing, I think. So, and so, so the next natural step, I assume, is natural, I mean, um, original music. Um, are you working um, towards uh, an, a CD, a full length of an EP, or something like there's that? A, there's a full length album coming out on Fire Rock Records on November 17th. And I am so excited about it because this is. I have, this is actually the 10th CD of my career, Jay. Wow. And out of all of those CDs that I've released in my career, the nine other CDs, only one other CD has been an Annie B solo Let CD. me, let so me just say, like, Annie, uh, let's keep in touch. And when, when you're ready to drop the album, I'd love to have you come back on your own and talk all about that. Well, I love it. Thank you. Promote the and, and as I said at the top interview, um, you know, I know Tom had said this interview with me. Initially, I just thought I'd been talking to him or some, maybe his, some of his band members. And so this is a nice surprise what we're doing here and um, getting to know some uh, some new faces like you and Bob. Um, and so um, also I was telling uh, Tom, um, when I got to work today, I, I got an email from a mutual friend of ours, David Shankle, of course, who doesn't know David Shankle from Manowar and the David Shankle group. And said, oh, a friend of mine, Annie, she's, uh, you know, we run a music school together. She's going to be coming on the, your interview today. I was kind of like, Annie, uh, okay, okay. And, and then he kind of explained what was going on. And and so 
Like it's, it's great to meet you, Annie. Um, now, with no further ado, uh, another great uh, legendary guitar player everybody knows, Ethan Brosh. Anybody that follows um, guitar players in the last several years, um, Ethan um, put out a couple of great solo albums. I've interviewed you um, a couple of times in the past. Ethan always been uh, great talking. So why don't you tell people about you know you taking part in this concert, how that happened, and and um, what you're currently working on. Okay. Um, well, thanks for the introduction. I appreciate that. Uh, we want to let everybody know who, 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 who we're talking to here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is um, it, Sharky's is a, um, is a venue I played, um, played in many times before. Um, and um, just a, a lot of people I know there in Syracuse and uh, John Pettigrass, who's involved in, Sharky's, um, he's, uh, he's my manager. So, uh, this is, uh, you know, I've known Tom for, for years. So this is something that, um, I was offered to, to play this show and thought about it. Um, and I'm like, you know what, I, I haven't really done anything with my, um, with my soul band since the pandemic started. So yeah. this is, um, it's actually given me a really good kick in the ass to get every, to get back in shape and, uh, to get the band back out there. Um, and hopefully this will kickstart another run of dates for, um, uh, for this band. Um, so I'm actually really excited about it because, uh, and, and for, get... um, a little bit of trivia for anybody that's known, um, Ethan Brosh, aside from being a great solo guitarist, um, he actually has played with um, the Peace Brothers, the Drum Wars thing. You appeared on the um, CD. Talk a little bit about that opportunity, how it came about. Because again, um, if anybody hasn't checked out that CD, um, they can still go online and buy it. It's great stuff. Oh yeah, thank you. I, I I didn't expect you to mention that one actually, but that's uh, yeah, it's worth mentioning. You know. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Carmine and Vinny. They're they're such uh great people um so this was um i forget how long ago but probably about 10 years almost at this point yeah. uh did a little bit of touring with them um and you know carmine um carmine was born on the same exact day as my mom i actually same day same year you know so i don't know i feel like uh i'm connected to him somehow um and he's always been very very good to me um so this was uh this was really interesting playing with both Carmine and, and Vinny at the same time and they set up two drum kits and they just kind of go at it at the same time and it gets really loud with two drum kits uh, yeah, I bet. right to you um but yeah it was a it was a blast besides, so. besides loud it had to be a, a, an interesting concept because you're typically I know um Play like a lot of people in typical bands where it centers around the guitar and the and the vocals. Where this is centered around the drums, which is totally, you know, a, a very different. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was great, you know, um, and you know, and Vinny is a very funny guy, so uh, it was just a it, it was a great thing to do, and also it it gave me the opportunity to um, to do a lot of stuff guitar wise because. We're playing Dio stuff. We played um, Bark at the Moon by Ozzy, which is one of my all time um, favorite songs. And, you know, Jakey Lee, who wrote the song, is one of my biggest influences and, uh, and he's a friend of mine. And I actually got him and um, reintroduced him and Carmine uh, when I toured with Jakey Lee. Wow. And, and then, like, I reintroduced them 30 years later because mm -hmm. uh, Carmine also played on the Bark at the Moon, um, right. on the Bark at the Moon tour. So, um, yeah, it was, um, and I, I bet Carmine and good memories from that. I, both, I bet those guys mess with you about how to pronounce their name. Uh, yeah, just like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. So, Tom, tell us about the July 9th concert again and, and what people can expect from, uh, um, when they come to see Held, Held Hostages set that day? Well, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff off our last album, Great American Rock, which, as you know, it spent 18 weeks on the Billboard charts. We're pretty proud of that. Yeah. And we're going to actually, our, my new album, Rescue Me, we're going to play a couple songs off the new album that nobody's ever heard before. We're going to come out and we're going to rock the crowd. And then, like I say, at the end, I'm planning on bringing all these guys on stage. And we're just going to do a crazy jam. So, Ethan, don't take your amp off there. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> it's going to be a fun okay. time, you know. Uh, um, you, you already know, Tom, like what you got your guys are going to jam to. You, you're going to um, discuss it with these guys. Do some blues. We're going to do some blues and introvert, you know, just improvise everything. We don't plan nothing. We're just going to have the last time I did that was with Ross the boss. Ross and I were, Ross was out on tour and we ended up, he ended up on stage with me, him, me, Ripper Owens, Mark Lopes. Ross and I just fought it out on guitars. It turned into like a 10 minute guitar solo. We had the best time just jamming, you know. We've done it before. Bob Bob Cunningham's joined us in the jams a couple of times and stuff. It's just it's just something the crowd loves and we don't care. We just get up there and we scream, hey, let's do this in A or whatever, and we let it rock. And so so Annie, you mentioned that um, you know, you you played with many bands over the years and you're kind of doing the solo thing now. So um like what can people expect to see from you? Pretty much would be like um kind of a retrospect of what you've done through your career. Is it gonna be mostly solo music? Um, it's all new songs that were not released on previous CDs, mm. except for there's one um, song that, um, well, because not all those CDs are available on Spotify. They're ne technically haven't re been released to the public. They've just been show sold at shows that mm -hmm. the band played. Um, but speaking of a retrospective, I mean, there's, because most of my career I have been playing in bands I have like all these songs that I've written that are more appropriate for a solo act or a singer songwriter act mm -hmm. and so a lot of the songs on this new CD are actually not necessarily from like I didn't write them in like 2022 or 2021 mm -hmm. one of them I found I was looking at I was trying to find out when did I write this song one <laughs> of the songs is from 2000 and it's just like wow, this song like stands the test of time because I would play it at solo acoustic shows, which I would intermittently have like solo acoustic shows throughout my career here and there. So all of these songs kind of stayed alive and, you know, a bunch of them never ended up on the one solo CD mm -hmm. that I did um, record. And that was, you know, available to the fans at my shows in 2010. And so- yeah. Some of these songs have just they never got a chance to see the light of day on a record so it's it's really exciting to to be able to so as far as the new out. cd you're working on um is that projected to come out this year november 17th, 17th. Oh, wow. okay. Okay. I'm so, excited. so you're kind of showcasing some of these songs that people have never really heard um yep. Yep. And, and i can already tell tom that um like the diverse number of acts i mean so like Annie, how would you describe your sound? For, since a lot of us haven't heard you, would you say you got a hard rock sound? You got kind of um, a country rock, or, or how would you describe your sound? It's between rock and maybe just like AAA, maybe. I mm -hmm. mean, it's hard because, you know, the song, one of the things that I've been criticized of throughout my career is that I'm kind of all over the place. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah. I mean, and so, you know, it's like a, just a, all sorts of stuff jumbled together, but. It seems to work together as an album. At the same I mean, time. I dig stuff like that. I mean, one of my favorite uh, bands of all time is, as you can see, Kiss. I mean, they got everything from something like, you know, Heaven's on Fire to, you know, Rock and Roll All Night, um, you, you know, Hard Luck Woman, Beth. Um, so I, I dig bands that can do more than one thing, you know. Um, even you look at a band like um, the Rolling Stones or um, the Eagles, they're not a yeah. one-trick pony, you know, they, yeah. they do a little bit of everything. Yeah. I love it. And I think when you're that type of artist, you have a bigger chance of maybe crossing over, you know? Oh, for sure. And that's something that I think can happen with this with this upcoming album. It's going to be really interesting just to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, Bob Cunningham, um, what can people expect, oh. like, when they come to see you? A lot of great covers, I know. But, like, how hard is it um, for you guys to put together a set? Like, you kind of already know what songs you're going to play? Do you get together with the band and kind of discuss it a few days before? No, we got about 70 songs, 75 songs that we can pick from. Um, we like a show like this. We like to keep it high energy and rocking, mm -hmm. um, come out with some Motley Crue or something like that to start off, you know, and get people's attention. Uh, we try to be like an explosive mm -hmm. type band, you know, like in your face. Yeah, um, I think I think too when you do covers, the um, thing that makes that interesting is, um, you know, like you might do a Bon Jovi cover, you might do a, a Motley Crue cover, and you know, John Bon Jovi and um, 
you know, Vince Neil don't necessarily sound the same. So the singer kind of can do it in their style. There's not that um, that pressure to sound like the guy you're paying tribute to, you know. Uh, my singer's got a set of pipes on him. <laughs> he can belt it out, which is and his uh, crowd interactions really improving. And you know, we're we're we, we, we there's a lot of crowd interaction, yeah. and uh, that's a good thing. That's good, yeah. And, and and Ethan, what can people expect? Um, we're talking about July 9th show here. We've been talking about um, from your set will be like um, stuff off your solo albums. Um, you're gonna maybe premiere any new music you've been working on or anything like that. Um, not quite sure I'm ready to premiere any new music just yet, but, um, um, definitely going to do a bunch of, uh, instrumentals, uh, to the best of, uh, our ability and, uh, which is very challenging music to play. So, uh, we got a you lot have a of full band? Is it just you on stage or do you have a full band back in Europe? It, it, it will be with a full band. Um, I, you know, I've, I've always resented uh, um, just going out there with an iPod and, and playing that. Sometimes I have to, and yeah. uh, I would do that. But it's a it's a completely different um, vibe, and it's a it's the real deal when when you have you have a kind of guitar player you can improvise if you have to, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose, yeah, but um, <laughs> this time I prefer to come prepared and, um, and of course, improvise for some of it, but... Um, yeah, yeah um, well, I mean, like you said, you play for the situation. If you're able to get out there with a great uh, backing band, you do that. You do whatever kind of it calls for, you know? Um, yeah. And will, will you be selling merchandise at the show? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. And, and I, you were mentioning um, before we went online that, you know, you are working um, on your first uh, new solo album in several years and that this one was going to maybe be a vocal album. Um, in regards to the vocals, if that's the direction you go, are, are you the guy that's going to try to handle the vocals or do you want to get other, maybe another singer, or maybe a group of different singers to come in? Um, there's a singer that I've been in contact with that I'm trying to work this uh, out with, that, um, which I'm not sure it's going to happen yet or not. He's, uh, he's in Europe, yeah. and um, we'll see if it will happen. For the time being, my vocals are there just for, uh, for the time being um, as I'm recording stuff um, and just hope for a much better singer to just replace replace my own vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah kind of like you just kind of. Other than that, the record is almost done. Um, so, yeah. And so I got to ask Ethan, am I for you? Where, where are you originally from? Because you, you have a bit of an accent. Uh, I grew up in Israel, even oh, though I was um, born actually in upstate New York. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, and. Um, and I was also going to ask, because I know your sister, she's also a pretty good guitar player into music. Um, if you, okay. I, I know you guys have done shows together, but have, have you ever been in a band together? Have you ever wanted to record an album together? She, she was in my band at one point. Um, I toured, 10 years ago, I toured with Inva Malmsteen. And at the time, she was on tour with me playing second guitar in my band. Oh. Um, yeah, but she lives in Las Vegas now, and she does um, pretty major gigs. So, um, because we're in opposite opposite sides of the country, it's um, it's a little bit hard to work together at this point. But um, yeah. it may happen in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. And um, I see you got your gear. How often do you have to practice, Ethan? I mean, um, you're pretty much. I, I know, probably. You're a great guitar player, obviously, what you do, but I guess what I'm asking is, do you have to, like, when you have a gig like this coming up, do you, um, do you pretty much have to rehearse or, or practice at all before the gig? Um, especially now, just because I haven't played this material in, in quite a while. Um, I mean, I play guitar all the time, and I teach guitar all the time, so I'm, I'm always playing. Uh, mm -hmm. But for something like this, I, I got to go back and um, and work on it specifically and work on it with the band as well. Yeah. Um, but it's it's hard to get a lot of rehearsing going. So um, I'm lucky if I get one rehearsal. So, so Tom, um, in regards to this jam that you guys are going to be doing, what's it like a guitar player like you 
going to be up there jamming up with a great guitar player like Ethan. I mean, um, and all these other guys here and their bandmates. I mean, that's going to be one uh, packed stage. Loving it. It's the most fun you can have. I and mean, you always learn something, whether it's a great guitar player or the worst guitar player, you always learn something from them. I just have fun and I, I just can't wait to do it. You know, I play with so many different guitar players and stuff. It's, it's a blast. I mean, I've actually toured with Ethan. What was it, in 2019? We toured together. I think it was. But I, maybe even 2018 or something. Maybe, maybe 2018. Yeah, we toured. Yeah, we did, we did a U.S. tour together. So, yeah. And I'll tell you what, his band is phenomenal. And he had true. another guitar player, and the other guitar player that was with you was damn good, too. I mean, they were a really good band. I, I enjoyed I, when I'd come out, I enjoyed watching these guys. Loved it. And they were a lot of fun just to hang out with. And that was when Giorgio was with you. Is he still with you? or? He's still with me, but obviously for a one-off, he can't really make it because yeah. uh, he's, he lives in Italy. So but, Yeah, because yeah. we had to borrow his bass player while we were on tour because ours went down. Went in the hospital when Ethan lent us his bass player for the tour. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Yep. So, Tom, you, um, I know that you said your record company put this gig together, this concert, again, ju taking place July 9th. Um, mm -hmm. And so how, how involved were you with picking the other groups that had taken part? Did you have any role in that, or was it strictly up to the record company? No, actually, um, John Pettigrass and I got together and, and talked about it and stuff. And obviously, you know, Annie had signed with our record label. We wanted her there. Herb Lyon signed with our record label, you know. And we've heard Ethan's new record. I've heard it. I'm not going to say who's on, but it's an incredible record. It's the best record I've heard. I, I, Ethan. <laughs> I was I was happy when he sent it to me, and I was very proud. So I mean, he'll tell you who he's got on, but it's it's an amazing record. I think it's going to do well. I think Annie's record's probably going to top ours. You know, we spent 18 weeks in the Billboard charts, but her she's a I say she's a combination of Joan Jett and Alanis Morissette. Well, yeah. She she leans towards Alanis Morissette. I I think you're going to be really really pleased with her. We heard her music, and we were like, wow. <laughs> We hey, signed. Annie, I, was, I, I can't was, wait to hear, hear your album when it comes out, Annie. But I got to ask you: any chance um, that our mutual friend, Mister Shankle, makes a guitar solo on your album or anything? <laughs> um, he did play a solo on a song. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's cool. And and um, briefly, um, he, like I said, he mentioned that you and he run a music school together. You want to uh, let people know at all about that or how they can find out about it? It's called the Milwaukee Music Academy, but we don't teach online. You have to oh. live in the Milwaukee area. I, I got you. He okay. does teach online. He'll do online. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's called the Milwaukee Music Academy. And there's probably, I think, the website that's easiest to find the Milwaukee Music Academy could be singinglessonsinmilwaukee.com because I, I put a lot of money into the singing part of the um, school. Okay. But we can be contacted through that website, both David and myself. Yeah, I just want to. Uh, I just want to thank Tom for putting this together, and thank you all for taking part in this um, super fun interview. Um, anytime, Tom, you want to do anything like this, I, I'm all up for it. Um, I hope you all feel like you got an equal, um, equal, um, you know, amount of uh, uh, time to talk. Um, that's what we try, try to strive here for. Um, so the interview we just did um, should be going up next um, week. I thank you guys for doing this, and please. Um, Ethan and Annie and Bob, um, anytime you guys have anything to promote, if you want to come back and do an interview on your own, you're, you're always more than welcome. And um, Tom can put you in touch with me if you don't have the contact info. So, so thanks for that, guys. And um, I guess thank you. Uh, thank how, you so much find for about the, um, us. how can people find out about the concert, Tom, and how to get tickets? Uh, they can go to Syracuse.com and go Sharkies.com. Uh, it's on the Held Hostage websites, Fire Rock Music websites. It should be all over. Um, and we've got a huge boost on it. I mean, it's, it's going to be a great concert. Happy July 4th to everybody, and, and take care. And thanks so much, Tom. Um, I'll be talking to you guys all later. And um, and I, I'm really serious. Uh, you guys are all welcome back anytime. Jay, take thank care. you so much, buddy. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you.